This video is proudly sponsored by Envato Elements. More on that later. Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the final cut bro. Today we are going to be taking a look at an amazing effect made by Ben Marriott and we're going to transfer it over into Apple Motion. Now I also have created this exact effect for my patrons. So if you want to check out the link below, you can actually download this if you are a patron subscriber. So first things first, go ahead, open up Apple Motion. If you don't get the project browser, when you open it, go ahead and push command and option and N. After that, go ahead and select the basic motion project and I'm going to set the duration to something like five seconds. It really doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want and we will push open. We are going to first add in some text layers. So I'm going to add my text tool here and I'm just going to write in a couple words. So I've got like and and we will go ahead scale this way up and we will center it and then I will reset the parameter on the position so that it's in the middle. Then after that, I'm going to push command D and then we're just gonna write subscribe. And perfect, now we have our like and subscribe text. So we're gonna go in about one second here and I'll push shift M to create a marker to show me where this whole animation is starting. We're gonna go to our opacity slider, add a keyframe, go forward about a full second and drag that to zero. Then I'm gonna come back to the beginning, find the subscribe button, add another keyframe, but we'll set that to 0% and then go to the end and set that to a full 100. So it now has this fade into itself here. I'm then gonna come into the middle of the one second. So this is at the 30th frame because this is a 60 frame per second project. I'll push shift M to create yet another marker just so I have a good visual indication of where that is. Then we are gonna go ahead and select our group. So we'll go to our filters, go to our blur, and we are going to select the Gaussian blur. Now go ahead, set your amount to zero, go to the beginning of the animation, add a keyframe, go to the middle of the animation at the 30th frame here, and we're just gonna go ahead and drag that up until the text is not really legible. I find 175 is actually a really good number. Then we're gonna go back to the very end of the animation and set that to zero. So you should now have kind of this blur animation happening with your text. So now this is where we get into some really fun stuff, like a message from our sponsor. Envato Elements is changing the game with their incredible subscription service. They offer unlimited access to over 55 million assets. I don't know if you realize how large of a number that is. It is ginormous. They offer fonts, photos, stock footage, music, sound effects, WordPress themes, Final Cut Pro, and Motion 5 templates. They offer a super simple license and your license still counts even after your subscription has ended. If you follow the link in the description, you will get 50% off when selecting the annual subscription. Do yourself a favor, my friends, level up your video editing library and get Envato Elements today. So go ahead, select your group, go on up into your filters, go to your color, and we're going to find the levels feature. You'll find in this histogram box here, there's this RGB button. Go ahead and change that over to alpha. So normally this effect would affect the actual colors of the text, but we don't wanna affect the colors, we just wanna affect the alpha channel. Then as we bring the black and white sliders closer to each other, we're gonna get a lot of contrast here and it's going to sharpen up our edges. So I'm gonna to come to the middle of the animation. I recommend you do that just so you get a good idea of what's happening. And you're going to slide up the white and the dark areas closer together until you get nice, clean, sharp edges. Now you don't wanna to go too far one way or the other. If you go to the left side, the text is going to be much thicker. If you go to the right side, it's going to be much thinner. So you can do it according to taste, but I find that a little bit closer, maybe 75% in here is really a solid area. So it showcases the lettering really well, but it also makes the animation look great. So if we play through, you can see it's actually warping into this alternate text. So from here, we're gonna add in some extra cosmetic stuff to make this look really nice. We're gonna go into our library, go to our generators, find the color solid, and we're just gonna drag that over. Go ahead, select that group one layer and push command and left bracket, and that is going to drop it down in the layers panel. Then select your color solid, go to your inspector and change the color over to something like a really nice dark gray. I might even go just a tad darker, just like that. And I made a mistake. I accidentally have it starting here. So go ahead, select your color solid, push I at the beginning of the project. And so now we have a beautiful background. 
Next, we're gonna add in a little bit of texturing on top of this to make it look more paper-like or something like that. So we're going to use an asset from our amazing sponsor, Embado Elements. So I'm gonna push Command-I and bring in this nice paper texture, and I'll go ahead and import that. And I'll actually try and have a link to this exact video clip in the description so that if you are a subscriber to Embado Elements, you can actually download it. I'm gonna set the scale to 200% just so it fills the entire frame. Then we're gonna go ahead, select the paper texture and drag it to the very top of our project so it's covering everything. And we're gonna change our blend mode over to multiply. So now if you look at the text, you can see it's got this really nice paper texture over it and it's actually creating these nice animated black dots and stuff like that. You could also definitely go into this paper texture here, add some contrast or something if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it as is. The next thing we wanna add is if we go ahead and select our group, we actually wanna add in what's called turbulent displacement and after effects, but here in motion, we're gonna have to kind of fudge it ourselves. Go ahead, go to your library, go into your generators panel again and find the clouds generator. Drag that into your layer panel and it can be anywhere in the stack, it does not matter. Disable it so you don't have to look at it and then go ahead, select your group, go to your filters and go into distortion and find the bump map filter. Go into your inspector and drag the clouds into the bump map and as you can see, the clouds are actually affecting our text right here and it's creating some unique looks. We're gonna take that bump map and drag it in under the Gaussian blur and the levels there, just like so. And now we're going to actually animate this bump map coming in. So make sure it's selected, go to your amount slider here, and we're gonna set that to zero. We'll add in a keyframe, go to the middle of our project, or our animation I should say, and set that to something like 0.2 or whatever you find looks really good. And then come to the end of the animation and set that back to zero. And so now this is just gonna add a really nice little subtle additional animation on top to really make it look like the text is morphing into itself. And one last filter that Ben Marriott added was the posterized time effect in After Effects, which in Apple Motion is actually called Strobe. So go ahead, select your group, go up to your filters, go down to time, and we're going to set this to strobe. So now it's set it to 15 frames per second and that kind of gives it a nice stop motion look, which I really, really like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, consider pressing that like button, consider pressing subscribe for more motion tutorials, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.